Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. Welcome back to another video today. I'm going to be looking at Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires and my experience with said game. Um, so I had bought it in the Steam sale as a sort of way to just do you know a bit of a series. Obviously I'm really looking forward to the Three Kingdoms coming out from Total War. So I wanted to sort of play on that a little bit. You know, um, I've always been a big fan of the... Dynasty Warriors series, apart from 9, which I didn't play, I saw enough of that to realise that that wasn't going to be something I was going to be into, to be totally honest with you. But, you know, I've always liked the Empire series, and, you know, Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends I do own myself, and that was perfectly fine. So, I was expecting, or hoping for, you know, some big things from this game, or just some, some niceties. So, the overwhelming issues that I had with the game basically rendered it like unplayable not able for me to do a series on so it's sort of, the game is stuck between this hybrid of controller and keyboard actions so it wasn't registering all of my controller inputs as they were happening sometimes they were delayed for whatever reason by a couple of seconds they would they wouldn't even stack they just wouldn't register at some points and when I decided to use the keyboard instead there was it, like the prompts are all in are all on shown on the screen for the keyboard even though you've got the controller set up um, and it made the gameplay really difficult i just couldn't even string two or uh, three or four attacks together using the controller so eventually i had to switch to the keyboard which as you know a long time dynasty warriors fan is a little bit obscure to have to do that and even then you know the not everything is made obvious so you have these cards in when you're fighting a battle called stratagems which are actually really cool they're really good so what they allow you to do is they let you you know launch a fire attack launch an ice attack whatever it happens to be and that way um, you can you know modify the battle you know basically just gives it a layer of strategy effectively um, which worked really well, but the fact that, you know, I had to switch to a keyboard and mouse was a bit of an issue. Uh, I also had two big crashes as well. And, I, well, two big crashes and one minor crash. And it effectively meant I lost all my progress for the playthrough I was doing. So the bits that you're seeing here is just capture from, from that. So I made, I went through the character creation tool, which is as unintuitive as Techno Koei's creation tools always are but I uh, used them to create some characters and then I jumped right in and you know I was actually quite looking forward to you know playing a bit of it you know just did the custom map um, with you know my own custom kingdom and see how far I could get um, that d d was totally destroyed by episode 2 because of the crash and um, there's no auto save feature in the game which I think for a modern game in 2000 and I don't know when this was released 2060 anyway any game passed in the 2000s should really should be running some sort of autosave feature to be honest with you and yeah we didn't have any of that especially one that's so modular um, you know there has been a lot of improvements from the last Empire that I played the cutscenes and everything that is still as cheesy as you'd expect unfortunately there is no English voice acting which is a big shame um, but yeah, it looks like there's some nice bits in there. Like I've sort of experienced both sides of it, where you're a leader, and also where you know you're just yourself, and you can pick who you go and fight for, or you can you know raise your own banner and start your own kingdom type of thing. So it's all good, you know, it's all good in that sense. You know, you've got the usual items and weapons you can upgrade, all the usual Dynasty Warriors stuff. It's very much taken from Extreme Legends and then added in this new mode. Um, you can also do uh, unique scenarios, so you can set up the map however you want, effectively, I believe, and then go from there. So if you wanted to, you know, like, for example, I played the Three Kingdoms era with Lu Shan as the emperor for Shu and I was thinking oh that'd be great I'll join them or you know I'll work with Zhang Wei and Jia Haobar and then you go in and Jia Haobar's still f 
um, in the Wei faction, despite the fact that they have placed Jin in there as well. So it's after the, the separate, although yeah, technically they haven't quite got it right, but I see why they've done certain things. Um, so it's a bit of a shame, really, just to see a few inaccuracies like that. And obviously, no, it, there's no perfect retelling of the Three Kingdoms, so I'm not going to go into that too much. I was just really disappointed with the stability of the game, uh, the fact I got these software crashes, and then you know also the keyboard and uh, the keyboard and controller situation is unforgivable, quite frankly. Um, you know, it's not that difficult to. It shouldn't be that difficult to get that stuff just to work. So when I did get in the battle and I was using the keyboard, had a much better experience, you know, going just cutting through swathes of Chinese soldiers, um, like hopefully I'll be doing in the new Total War game comes out. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, you know, it, it plays very much the same. It's nice to have the the customization options. It's nice to be able to, you know, tell your own story in the Dynasty Warriors universe. But you know, for me, it, it was those issues that took it apart and I feel as though the game does a lot of good but it basically the, all the Dice to Warriors games are all pretty much recycled so there doesn't seem to be any custom weapons or move sets either you have to pick an existing character's one which is a bit of a shame in some of the older Dice to Warriors games they've had like a few unique weapon sets in there um, you know that aren't actually used by any of the current roster so it makes your characters that you make if you choose to give them those move sets a lot more unique which this one's missing but such as such as it is it, it's fine you know it's one of them um i don't know i don't think i can recommend it because of the controller issues i feel like if you're really into dynasty warriors then you probably played eight extreme legends or seven even so the seven seven was a very good one um probably the best best one in recent history anyway so yeah, a bit of a shame. Like I said, I wanted to do a bit of a series on it. Not going to happen. Um, I actually got it refunded after the second crash because I had enough of it. Um, which means I can't obviously give it a very favourable review or a favourable impression. And yeah. Just one of them. Take it at your own peril. If it's something you want to go and try, feel free. Uh, but yeah, you know, I've had my I've had my play around with it and yeah, not not for me unfortunately. Those issues make it too difficult for me to recommend, which is a shame. But nevertheless, bring on Three Kingdoms Total War. I'm looking forward to that. And uh, I was, you know, it, I, in the stuff I recorded, I went through a lot of the, tried to go through a lot of the lore and that sort of stuff in there, but that obviously wasn't possible. So we'll see how things go moving onwards. Obviously, we'll get a lot of that when the Three Kingdoms Total War comes out, but. Yeah, just wanted to really give you, bring you up to date with some of the stuff I've been playing around with. So, also, it doesn't scale up to 4K in the options. Presumably, you have to go into the actual file settings and mess around with them. But anyway, I need to have time for that. So, all right, guys, I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.